So it was a little over a year ago when I featured not timepieces here on my channel for the first time. Two of the watches that I featured had cases that were actually finished through a factory that produced cases for Grand Seiko. So that means they essentially had Grand Seiko level finishing on them, which is pretty awesome for a micro brand, something that you really can't get anywhere else. Today we're gonna feature one of their newest chronographs. This gets a platinum leaf dial and I am calling it the platinum snowflake because it looks very much like a snowflake dial that you would get from Grand Seiko. However, it is applied, hand applied platinum leaf. This is a gorgeous watch, this time on a bracelet and I am very excited to show it to you guys. So let's flip the camera and take a look at not timepieces and their new platinum limited edition chronograph. Well, here it is. And you can see the dial is beautiful on this watch. It's sort of like a platinum snowflake that you would get from Grand Seiko. So it looks a lot like a Grand Seiko dial. I don't think that's mistake i think they purposely did that and as i mentioned in the intro this comes out of a factory that actually produced cases for grand seiko so this doesn't get zeratsu polishing however it gets polishing that is called something else it is not called zeratsu polishing but it is essentially the same as zeratsu polishing and when you turn the watch on its side immediately you're going to see how well the case is finished it is such crisp transitions between polishing and brushing, and the brushing is perfect. It's like a satin brush on the side of the watches, and then you have polishing on the back of the case, the case back, and then of course the bezel is all polished. You have a bracelet on here. I don't know if the bracelet also comes from a factory uh, that produces parts for Grand Seiko. However, I know that the bracelet is also finished very well. I don't think it's up to the same standard as the case, but it is really well done. Um, very, very well done, I think. And you have polishing and brushing. It's not really very loud. It's actually a very nicely sized bracelet. It tapers a little bit. So it's actually very thin at the buckle. So it wears very comfortably as well. You can see the case is a little bit thick because the NE88 is kind of thick. So this gets an NE88 inside. That is an automatic Seiko movement. So essentially this gets a case that is finished through the factory that actually produces Grand Seiko cases. And then it gets a Seiko movement inside the NE88, which is a uh, automatic column wheel chronograph that is used in uh, essentially all of a higher end Seiko chronograph. So they use the 8R, which is the NE88 equivalent. Uh, it's a really great movement with the column wheel and it is actually a pretty expensive movement. They do sell it outside of the Seiko um, you know, umbrella, and that's when it's called an NE88 or an NE86, I believe. There's a few different versions, but really the star of the show of this watch is not only the movement, which is a great movement, and I've owned watches with this movement in it before, it is the dial. The dial on here is platinum leaf, very similar to gold leaf, except you're using platinum. You also have these little surrounds around the actual sub registers for the chronograph. It's just a little metallic surround and then you have applied indices. There is no loom, but you get beautiful hands on here and they are faceted. I'm gonna do close-ups of it. Tell me what you guys think they remind you of, but I'm not gonna say it. I think they are phenomenal. They do a great job on these watches. They are made in Japan. Obviously, all of the components are made in Japan. Even this bracelet, which like I said, is a really nice bracelet. Uh, this is also made in Japan. Uh, obviously the cases are made in Japan. The dials are made in Japan. I believe the Sapphire Crystal as well. A lot of their components are sourced from, you know, Japanese uh, manufacturers such as Miyota and of course Seiko. So here it is. I've had the chronograph running and you can see the chronograph hand actually has the knot logo and it just says not below the 12 o'clock. And then you have a silver chapter ring which has a 60 minute scale everything lines up which is great uh and you know obviously a lot of watches from seiko don't line up this all lines up so the chapter ring the 12 o'clock index that all lines up really well uh very quickly i'm going to do measurements this is actually a very nicely sized watch this is i believe 
in the neighborhood of 40 millimeters, just spot on around there, 40, 40 and a half, somewhere around there. And then we have uh, a thickness. Now the thickness on here is thick, as I mentioned, it's 14.0, so basically 14 spot on. It's a little bit thinner than some uh, Seiko chronographs that I've seen, uh, which are pretty thick usually. Uh, and then 48.7 lug to lug, but you do have female end links, but then there's an extra link on the end of that, which acts like a male end link, so uh, it acts a little bit thicker or wider than the uh, the actual lug to lug. So it's a 52.5 millimeter lug to lug. One of the first complaints that I have about this watch and watches from not that I have actually reviewed here on my channel before is the crown size. I wish they went with a larger crown on this watch. They do have room to do it. I think it would look amazing if they put a bigger crown. It doesn't ruin it for me, but 4.5 millimeters on this crown is pretty small. It is signed as a little not logo, but it's actually smaller than the chronograph pushers. It's almost smaller than the chronograph pushers. You can see uh, they aren't very uh, in line in size anyway, but I wish that that was bigger. You do get double drilled lugs. That's because you could switch this over to a strap. And then of course, this is their smart fit bracelet. It's a little bit extra. I think it's like $130, $150, something like that. Uh, not too much more money to get the bracelet. Otherwise, you can get a strap, and I'll show you one of their straps in just a second. I'll actually just show you video of the watch on their straps. All of their straps are Japanese made. And they sent me one that is, a, I believe, a silk texture. It is gorgeous, black and white. I'll throw it on this watch and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. This also gets quick release on the bracelet, so you know, and it is a double fold butterfly clasp. You have to fold over one side uh, before you fold over the other because you do have a little plaque here with the Knot logo. All in all, I think a phenomenal watch and uh, obviously a really great value. These are around eleven or twelve hundred dollars plus the cost of a strap or a bracelet. You get to choose what you want. So uh, they actually let you buy the watch separately from the bracelet or strap. You don't need to buy a bracelet or strap. You could just buy the case. Um, obviously, case, dial, movement, the whole package. You get the module and then you get to choose whether or not you want to use one of their straps. You could use an aftermarket strap. I highly recommend checking out their straps. This bracelet is really nicely made as well and it's a really good price uh, and it fits the case perfectly. So if you are a bracelet guy, I always suggest getting the bracelet and obviously this is a really nice bracelet. It is push pin, uh, but all in all, it's very nicely uh, made and it is pretty thick. It's all brushed on the other end. There's no sharp edges. You can see that this is made very, very well. The case back, as I mentioned, is screwed in. I think you get 100 meters of water resistance with this watch. So it's really a true sports watch. You could use this basically every day. It's all polished. Uh, and it is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. You have the not logo engraved and it just says stainless steel. You have anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal. It says it has a sapphire crystal. That's really it. The uh, action on the chronograph for Seiko is excellent. So the NE88, obviously Seiko product, you're gonna get really good chronograph action with this and very solid, sounds great as well. There is no loom shot here because there is no loom. So I would say that is the uh, other little problem I have with this watch. I wish they could fit loom somewhere on this watch, even if it's just on the hands. I know the hands are gorgeous and they're really going for a more dressy sport feel with this watch, but I think if they got some loom on this dial, this would be a no-brainer at $1,100, $1,200. This is insane value as it is. If they put a little loom on here, it would be great. But that's just me. I love to have loom. You're not gonna get the same faceted look that you get from the indices on here. Again, I'll do plenty of close-ups so you see what I'm talking about, but everything here really shines very nicely. So if they added loom, I'm sure that would, you know, you know, distract from that. Anyway, that's really it. I'm gonna throw it on my wrist, but today, I have a watch that I'm gonna actually put next to this because I have my Grand Seiko on. It is my Grand Seiko chronograph, honestly, uh, kind of ironic, not ironic at all. I planned this all out, but here it is. I mean, this is a, I think this retailed originally for around six or $7,000. New versions of this retail around eight or $9,000. Um, this is a spring drive and I, I, you could see the value 
proposition here that I'm trying to, you know, sort of display. And you could see the finishing. Guys, I mean, it's, it's the same. Literally the same finishing. Uh, this has more polishing on it than this does, but that's really the only difference. Um, I wonder if they'll come out with other versions. This is like a special edition. I don't think this is going to be around very long with this platinum snowflake dial. <laughs> it is gorgeous. It is really just a beautiful watch here. Here it is on my seven and a half interest. Um, the only other thing is also, uh, you know, the plaque here makes it a little bit difficult to put this on. So you have to put one side than the other. Many watch companies do that, but just something to keep in mind. There it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Wow. I mean, really a beautiful dial on here that looks way more expensive than the price tag. And, you know, combining everything here, I think uh, with the exchange rate currently, this is around $1,100 between $1,100 and $1,200, so let's call it $1,150. And then I think the bracelet is around $100 and change. So around $1,250, you're getting a watch with an automatic Seiko chronograph movement. It is a column wheel. You're getting a platinum leaf dial. That's what they're ca calling it. I'm calling it a platinum uh, snowflake dial. And of course, you're also getting that beautiful finishing on the case. It is phenomenal and really something that you really cannot get anywhere else except for Grand Seiko. So there's, I think maybe there are other brands uh, using that manufacturer, but they're not advertising it. They, you know, that, that's, that, that is what it is. And that's it. Anyway, that's really it. There is no loom shot, as I mentioned. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Tell me what you guys think about this watch in the comments below. I really think this is a good looking watch. And like I said, I'll do plenty of close-ups so you can see what I am talking about about this dial. It is really mind blowing that they can do this at this price. There's platinum on this watch. I know it's platinum leaf, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Tell me what you think of these watches from Knot. Definitely check out their website. I'll put links down in the description below. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe Hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next video.